everyone, I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. The winding road to the Super Bowl continues here in the divisional round, where two teams look to take another step towards the Super Bowl. It's the Lions going up against the Panthers. With that, let's get up to Charlotte, North Carolina, as we bring in our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Ahead, we'll decide the second entrant to next week's NFC title game as we've got a great one in store between the Detroit Lions and the Carolina Panthers. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And a glance here at the vet. He's got a lot of years under his belt in the National Football League. sign of things to come with this crowd. False start, offense. Still first down. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. snap as they'll look to throw. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. And let's see who's faster. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. And if you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They have more people to the football and snuffed out the play. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. here it's a loss of four there bringing up second down and Charles despite this list of key inactives that we see here they've obviously still been pretty successful give everyone credit for this one because to me when that happens key guys are out the next man steps up and plays well but that starts with the organization itself all the way through no excuses for guys being out Finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And Stewart lost the football. It's loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. 
I mean, he's trying to gain yardage, trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. What's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover for his squad. Throwing on third down, Newton. And this is caught. It's Greg Olson. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Oh, he'll field it in the end zone. A terrific return. 30 yards all in all. And the Lions will take over. Detroit getting set to go now. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. And a look at the defense now. So second and nine, the defense looking to put them in a bad spot here. They come out here in the eye. They'll set up a throw. Dancing to his left. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he connects with Ebron. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. And he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Luke Keekley combines speed, intelligence, toughness puts it all together it makes plays like one we just saw there he may not be a big time blitzer but boy he knows how to pursue straight ahead and make plays in the run game he's gonna flip that out to the flat it's complete it's a gain of six on the play and just like that it's third down right, i'm gonna show my age here a little bit we used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go now. Marty, Marty. Out of the gun now on third down. Buying time to his left. He can run for it, and he will. They get nine yards there, and they get a first down. 
We have so many different terms for third down, third and short, third and long, third and manageable. How about third and medium? Because that's what this one was. The defense looked like they had him hemmed in, but he gets away, evades the rush, and picks up just enough for the first down. They come up in an offset eye. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. A great play there. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. I can't help it, partner. I love backs who have a lot of burst. Yeah, they ran the toss play. By the way, sometimes you'll hear toss and pitch used interchangeably, but that was the toss. Well, for me, a toss. Quarterback takes the snap, turns around, tosses it to like the tailback. Like an egg underhand. Yeah, like an egg underhand, really with two hands. And a pitch, usually like you're running an option-type play, and you pitch it out there to the trailing back. Goes end over end like a field yeah, goal. Yeah, where you turn it over, make sure that thumb turns down, and the ball flips end over end slowly and delicately to your running back. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> that's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. To me, that's a superior play by the backer because he was allowed to, I think, run free on it and make that play. His defensive linemen, they covered things down for him because offensive guys, the linemen, what they're trying to do, as you know, is block the guy at the point of attack and then climb to the next level and get the linebacker. And you're not allowed to climb. You got a free hitter, and that's what we saw there. And a really nice play resulted for them. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback who has to slide and find open space to throw. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And wow, fortunately, he was able to get it back, but it's left his guys in a bit of a hole here. They're backed up deep to start this drive. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it. Somehow the ball finds his way back to him. Atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. When we talk about Luke Keekley. You can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get him into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal game. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got some space here. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. Call it a pickup of seven. And that is going to set up a third and one. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he'll have the first down as he's up to about the 18. One quarter gone in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. Here with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, as the Lions are in possession of the football here to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Let's go! Blue They'll give it to him right up the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. 
Crashing in from the end there, not to disrupt the pass game, but to disrupt the run game. Yeah, I love the distinction, too, because the good defensive ends, they can do it all. Set the edge in the run game, make sure that no one can move it that way, and, of course, rush the passer. On that play, use his speed to get there in the run game. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. It's Hill, complete. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. First down, he'll drop to throw. They complete it to Hill. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards there on the catch and run. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, on that play, the expression, don't blink, you might miss something, certainly applied. That was fast. Defense diagnosed the play, and it was over in a heartbeat. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's going to float this one. That's caught inside the 20. And he is down deep into Carolina territory. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Being chased out left. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Give him eight on the play, and it's a second down. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks. But and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Lions add on to their lead. Not a bad start for him. Two drives for the offense, two rushing TDs. Almost like he's in the percussion section in the band, isn't it? Got a little oomph, right? Got a little crash, got a little bang. He's got it all as he gets to the end zone. Second rushing touchdown, as you noted, on two drives. He's off to a terrific start. Okay, you ready? Wait for it. But um. Psh. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal. Put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another. Chance. It gives you a better chance to do it right. They'll start the drive with a run by Stewart. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. On second down, they run with Stewart. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves him needing about seven here on third down. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on the play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop 
by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Here's Matt Dar now as he's on to punt for Carolina. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And yeah, this ball is going to be touched out just shy of midfield. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. And to give this time to the tailback. And a cut to the left sideline. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a pickup of 19. And it'll be first down Detroit. Love the run right there. And when you analyzed him coming out of college, when you tried to put a grade on him, you saw the flashes while he was in school, but you didn't see the full production. You didn't see the finished product. He's a little bit raw, but you can see why people liked him. Those types of runs make you think there's plenty more there, and we'll see if that continues for him. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Sliding out of the pocket. They find some open field here. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. In the red zone this time. Back there, here we go. Here we go now. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The intended target was Corey Coleman. And it's third down. Here we go now, an extra defensive back in there on third and ten. Back to throw. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. Now Chandler Catanzaro for the field goal here. And Catanzaro's kick is right through. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point. So no problems converting there. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. They come up in an offset eye. This is Stewart again. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Ezekiel Ziggy Ansah with a tackle for loss. Just think he's still learning the game of football. Didn't play a heck of a lot of it in his native country. And at BYU, was just scratching the surface before he hit the NFL. Yeah, from Ghana, where he really liked soccer and basketball, but football's okay for him, right? Yeah, I think it's worked out very well. Drafted on potential, he's realizing it here. Yeah, they've got an extra defensive back out there now on third and 13. Now Newton. And the Lions 
gets pressure too strong. Down he goes. Muhammad Wilkerson in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And it's fielded at the 34. One minute, 53 ticks left to go in this first half. Back with more NFC playoff action after this. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Larry Ridley at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Flush to his right. And his throw here is incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. shotgun he'll look to throw and he'll with it over the middle and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40 a good pick up there of 20 yards never make the mistake that the slot receivers especially the little guys like we're watching here are just quicker than fast a lot of them combine quickness and speed and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there he's going to flip one out here to his running back it'll be a gain of four and it'll be a second down now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Back to throw again. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Corey Coleman, 36 yards. And the Lions are able to grow their well, you know he can... Here's Matt Dar now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this one will be touched down inside the 40-yard line. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. He's going to go, and that's caught inside the 30. They give him a gain of 38. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're some. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. And Catanzaro's kick is right through. And the lead increases even further. It's 27 to nothing now. So they get the three, increase their lead to close out the half. Excellent way to end a drive. Go into the locker room with a little bit of extra momentum after adding three to their total. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback.
And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup as we send you down to Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Panthers are really having a tough time right now. The Lions have looked great and seem on their way to advancing if they can just keep this style of play up for another half. All right, let's roll those highlights. Now to the middle of the first. Pass will be completed to the sidelines. And he'll make it right to midfield and then duck out of bounds. Later on the drive, it's going to be a run play here. And he'd go in for the 17-yard touchdown, giving them an early lead. Lions have it early in the second. The catch is made in double coverage, and the play will come to an end after a gain of 40. 40. Lions have it later on the drive. He'll jet out to the right on the run, and he'll go in for a score. That puts them on top by 14. Lions line up at the 36. Coleman's wide open on the deep pass. This goes for a touchdown. The lead now at 24. So that's going to do it for us. We'll send you back now to field level for some more playoff football. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Stewart, and he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. here back at the 21 yard line so he loses three yards there now third down Muhammad Wilkerson elevated a tempo program that was looking for players like him and he's carried that on into the NFL what a terrific play there yeah, a nice tackle for loss for the former Temple Al as you said and the 30th pick in the 2011 draft And the dreaded third and long here for the offense. Third and long, it's Newton. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Ziggy Ansah in there for the 20th time this year as he continues what could be a record-setting season. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so, oh. I, could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay, price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. Returnable here from the 38. 43 yards on the punt, return of four, and the offense will come back onto the field for the first and ten. We get a look at the Panthers' defense now. And three points surrendered on the last drive against them. They bent a little bit, but they didn't break. I like that, and that's not always wrong. We run into a lot of coordinators that talk about, well, if I give up three points, my whole day's ruined. <laughs> Actually, it's not. Just giving up field goals usually gives your team a chance to win if you're playing good defense. Yeah, especially in the National Football League. They'll 
He'll try and start this drive in the air. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation that we're not really focused on it. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. So we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. First down, he'll drop to throw. Forced out to his left. And oh, he caught it up. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. A near turnover, but the offense recovers it. Now they'll try to regroup on second. They come up in an offset eye. Now they'll run it on the toss. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. A lot of people call the toss a probing play to see what they can get against the defense, to see how they adjust and react. Their probing's working pretty well. That was a very nice run. Four down, four down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Steps away to his left. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. It's the safety, Kirk Coleman. And the return will stop right around the 25. If they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. getting set to take the field and last drive three and out still a goose egg on the scoreboard how do they break that goose egg they've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers get them some space and try and make a first down and get some momentum going it's been a struggle for them throughout the game and that three and out on the last possession that told you just how stalled they are on offense so who will step up here we'll see play back at the 20 it's a loss of four now third down wasn't that long ago that the nfl guys really didn't adopt much from the college game but one thing that has crept in there is spreading hey, hey, things right. out right. opening things up not even just in tempo but maybe getting better line splits and spreading the field i think that would be a great strategy right now to try to open things up in the run game finding time and incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. 
looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Fielded just inside the 30. Oh, he did oh. not go down. I have to retake those ankles. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. offense they get ready to head back onto the field and the interception thrown in the red zone last time we'll see if they can rebound I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was don't do that again what do you think <laughs> what do you think yeah I think that I think that not only did he say that but he also told him let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in all right the end zone we're trying to score I know we're being a little bit facetious here but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. He'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And he's got room. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. And that'll be incomplete. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target. And it's second down. Second down now after the incompletion. They're going to look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Are oh, you crediting your defense? Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them. Ran a screen, and they went to and smothered it for a loss of yardage. the gun now on third down oh he's got a man wide open complete it's a gain of 20 and picking up the first and fits the exact right word over the middle there's almost always traffic so anytime you're a receiver in that area you're not just focused on catching the football you're wondering where the collision's going to come from right because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate catch it and even added a little extra at the end with a short run. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Now they'll run it on the toss. Oh, he's got a little daylight. A very solid gain of 27. Before a running back, that kind of encompasses everything right there. Terrific run, but he almost gets it to the end zone. Remember, almost. Didn't quite get there. Most running backs I know, they don't want to come out of the game now. They're screaming to the bench, call it again. I want to get into the end zone. They'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Mike Burton, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Lions just continue to pour it on. First and goal, forget running the football, forget establishing anything. Just put it in the end zone with the pass for a touchdown. Oh, yeah, I guess that's the definition of catching the defense off guard there. They weren't expecting that. And that totally goes against type, doesn't it? When you think first and goal from the one, you're thinking running play. Now Cat and Zero after the touchdown to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency 
move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Second down following the run. The play fake to Stewart. It's Newton. He's got time. He's going to float this one deep right side. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys are going to have the football back as the third quarter comes to an end. And we're back now in Charlotte. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. And Detroit getting set to go now. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They'll drop to throw. Buying time to his left. The throw to the left side, caught by Coleman. The 20, 10, touchdown, Detroit. Corey Coleman, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Lions have got it on cruise control. Well, this game is definitely over, but we do know some people like to go ahead and continue to add to their score, don't we? Carolina getting set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. To throw on second down is Newsom. And caught left side, Olsen. That catch good for five. It's third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. They'll try and run it. Here's Stewart. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Here's Matt Dar now as he's on to punt for Carolina. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. And this will be touched by a member of the kicking team right on the midfield stripe. So out now come the Lions. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now. And now the rookie's free. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. 50 yards. And the Lions just continue to pour it on. And my friend, I think it's safe to say that this game is pretty much deceased at this point. It's <laughs> taken a knee, so to speak. It is definitely this victory formation. Take the snap, take the knee, call it a night, you know, call it a game, call it whatever. I agree with you totally. I don't think there's much left to get except for those who want to run up the score. <laughs> I knew this was over about a minute ago when you took your stat sheet and just flipped it over your shoulder in the track. Yeah, that's, that's why. Yeah, that's, 
That's similar to the guys cutting tape off yeah. right before the yeah. game's over. We know this thing's done. Now Cat and Zero after the touchdown to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And on to the field. Here come the Panthers. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays for one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Second down following the incompletion. Draw play, Newton to Stewart. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. So they run it on second down. Now let's see what third down brings here for the offense. From the gun on third down, Newton. He hits Stewart in the flat. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Newton now to throw. They were looking to get it to Kelvin Benjamin there. And that'll bring up second down. This has been a really nice day for the defense. They've made it so difficult to find open receivers because they're able to squeeze the passing lanes down. A lot of what they're doing is communicating. Receivers in one area, receivers in another area. They're almost what they call passing them off from one defender to the next, even in zone defenses, and making it very hard to find an open spot for the quarterback to deliver the ball. And that incompletion was caused by the defense. I think they were trying to get one into the middle of the field, trying to find a receiver there. But they were in zone defense. And what are the advantages of being in zone? Eyes and reaction. Eyes meaning all eyes are on the quarterback and able to react when he throws the football and rally to that spot. And that's exactly what happened there. Able to get there and knock it away. The 12 yards that time and picking up the first. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Benjamin with it over the middle. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. And that's one of his advantages of a passer is now with his height setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes it. And he's going to go down way back at the 42-yard line. Ezekiel Ansah in there for the sack, and that is now 21 for him on the year. Wow. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Third and long, it's Newton. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. What hallmark of good defenses? It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And this one will be touched down right at the 30-yard line. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got to a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you think to yourself, 
How do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> yeah, pressure. We'll see, I love it. we'll see if they dial it up this drive. They'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. And the offense looks to pick up the first here on third after that incompletion. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Looking deep downfield. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the end zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell incomplete. Yeah, he's already been in the end zone multiple times, tried to target him again deep there, but unsuccessful. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lot behind it. Wow. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Carolina getting set to take the too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Here's Newton now on second down. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Whether they deserve credit or not, the defense is going to take credit for that incompletion because it always feels good when you slow down an offense. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. A jump off here to Stewart. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Here's Newton. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that's going to lead to a third down. Well, there really wasn't much there, but a completion is a completion. A tough third down awaits them. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Throwing is Newton. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. the ball free and brings up third down every time i see a hitch pattern dropped i go back to the combine because there's a drill that they use all the time that's called the gauntlet drill where a receiver catches the ball and just works his way straight down the line and catches it from different sides and the problem with that drill is that you don't actually have to secure the catch you just kind of catch it drop it immediately and keep moving and sometimes that shows up on plays like this. Third and five, so they bring in an extra defensive back. Expecting pass. 
To the air again, Newton. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now a play fake here on first down. Surveying the field. Great protection. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Hey, Sean Robinson in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Newton now to throw. Caught on the left side by Benjamin. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And now they're in the hurry up. From the gun on third down, Newton. And he gets it to Funches complete. It's a pickup of 16 there that'll lead to a new set of downs. From the red zone now, Newton. Can't find anyone open. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up a second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. There's a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. The play fake to Stewart. It's Newton. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big-time drop. So now at third and 12 with an extra defender here in the secondary, a nickel look. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball off pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now whistles. Flag down and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. All-star offense. Still fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Desperation time. Newton, fourth down. He's going to let it fly. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. That's a whole lot of points still to be down. But congratulations. This thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. Kick off your week by installing your...